know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully Raw is onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. So guys, uh, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and of course I'm bringing this one and see by the title talking about all the stuff going around Middlesbrough at the moment of course, you know, season restart is of course next week everybody's very very excited for it me particularly, I cannot wait I hold some confidence in that hopefully but I can obviously, you know, remain inside the championship based on the fact that, you know, behind closed doors especially in training <laughs> you know, we see all these amazing videos come out of training and suddenly the Borough players look to be doing amazing things. And now it comes to a Saturday with fans at the stadium, they get a bit nervous. So I'm thinking, listen, well, listen, without the fans at the stadium, hopefully something good could happen. But of course, I'm bringing the news on very, very important, huge, massive, amazing news. If the contracts are signed, that three vital players to our squad could be kept now. I'm going to speak on everything about these sort of contracts. Of course, I don't know a lot about them. You know, late last night, I seen it get posted onto uh, Facebook and onto Twitter. Of course, on Twitter, I normally retweet a lot of stuff. I, like, core retweet it. I basically have my say as I'm retweeting the tweet. And, uh, you know, just about, i say about an hour or two before the sort of contract deals tweet went out, uh, posted by Everything MFC, there was a strong link that I had to go to Leeds. And I've heard, and now this is what I've heard, I'll get into very much a rumour, um, if Ayala doesn't sign the contract and goes to Leeds, which, you know, could happen, could not happen, who knows. But if that does happen, their number one sort of target to bring a championship player up is Johnny House. And Johnny House could possibly go to Leeds if they are promoted within the next nine games. And that means that, of course, if Ayala and Johnny House do not sign the two contracts, go off to Leeds and, of course, go and play the football there. Now, huge, huge news is this. George Friend, Ayala, Johnny Housen. Late last night, we have found out as Middlesbrough fans, and of course, the footballing world, especially the championship, to them who are obviously interested in this sort of news. Them three players, if them three players obviously go and sign the contract, we have them on a long term deal. Now, George Friend's obviously 32, Ayala's around a similar age, and I know Johnny Housen might be, is Johnny Housen about 33, 34? Long term deal, brilliant, keep them here. This is what I'd do. When them sort of players retire, I would honestly offer them a coaching role at the club. Experience is huge, and I think them three there, experience wise, especially the younger ones, could help them out so much. I think George Friend, especially, once his contract's obviously finished, you give him that coaching role, he'll bring through the likes of Hayden Coulson, and uh, it might even show a little bit the baller. You know, at the minute, of course, you know, baller's out on loan, when he comes back, he could maybe rub his experience off on him. Um, but I think Hayden Coulson's a massive one, and what I could see happening is this we all know about certain players, obviously, leave Rudy Gestead, there's obviously no new contracts been offered to him. Same to Marvin Johnson, uh, Ryan Shotton. What could possibly happen? And what I'm possibly thinking is maybe it's Hayden Coulson will stay left, sort of wing back, left back, and maybe then you'll see left centre back George Friend, Ayala, Johnny Housen. That could be your back four next season. That's what I'm sort of thinking in my head. But that's only if them three do sign the contracts. It's absolutely massive news coming out of the Borough late last night. It's news that everybody wants to hear because everybody wants these three players to stay, of course. Ayala is our absolute man mountain. He has to stay at this football club. You know, if this if he's to go. It's such a big loss to our defence, it really, really is. An absolutely outstanding player for us, especially inside this championship. Johnny Housen, been our best player for years. I, I, I've said it over and over and over again in videos recently. Johnny Housen, for me, is absolutely phenomenal. Based on his attitude, attitude alone is unbelievable on Johnny Housen. You know, he came here as a sort of attacking midfielder, then he dropped into a sort of like defensive role. He went right mid for a few periods, then he went right back, centre back. Right wing back, you know, that's the one thing I like about Johnny Housen, he will play wherever you put him. He's not bothered about the players, he just wants to muck for the team, give us all, win the game. That's all he's about and that's exactly why I love Johnny Housen. I think his attitude is absolutely spot on. Same to George Friend, you know, fan favourite. If he goes without a new contract being offered to him, that could have really upset all the fan base at Butter. Um, you know, fan favourites are fan favourites and once you let that sort of player leave without any sort of new contract or any sort of explanation, that does upset a fan base. Absolutely massive. The fact that George Friend's obviously got a new contract. I are the same. Johnny Housen. A bit upset though. The fact that Ryan Shot's not been offered one yet. Um, and also Marvin Johnson. I think Marvin Johnson, of course, you know, last season, Sheffield United loan spell. Apparently did okay there. You know, he didn't get much game time, but he did okay. You know, Marvin Johnson's come in this season. And I think he's done all right. I mean, I wouldn't say he's been absolutely outstanding. But he's done his job. And I think, you know, when he has played, 
He has brought a bit of creativity, sort of like our left side. I think he links with well here in Coulson as well. You know, assist on the first game of the season. And it shows you how powerful he can be on them wings when given the chance. Um, and of course, you know, Ryan Shotton, 1v1. You can't get past him. And the fact that he's, maybe he's at the moment, isn't being offered the new contract. I would like to see what happens there. I would like to see them two lads stay. And I would love for us to go out there in the summer and possibly try and purchase Ravel Morrison and Patrick Roberts. I think them two we have to get in the summer without question. Uh, absolutely fantastic footballers. Ravel Morrison, even though we haven't seen the most of him yet, every single player that's played with him raves over him. Like, he literally raves over Ravel Morrison. For me, it's about giving him time. Let him let him sort of adapt his championship. Let him adapt to the Borough team, chemistry-wise. And once he's once he's up and going, get him signed permanently. Same to Patrick Roberts. He's been absolutely outstanding, you know. And before his injury, he's absolutely smashed over the Borough. He brought so much excitement. I remember that Tottenham game at home in the Cup. And he, I, listen, he absolutely ran them ragged. So for me, Roberts, Morrison, get them get them lads over the line if we can. We have to sign the deals of Ayala, House and a friend. And then for they have to be signed to the football club. I would love to see Ryan Shot on State and so too Marvin Johnson. I think them two do offer a lot of things to our squad. But as I say, you know, they're all my opinions. What are your opinions? Drop them down below inside the comment section. I'm very, very excited to see how this sort of works out. I really do hope and pray, you know, all them three players do obviously sign the new contracts. It'd be an absolute boost to us going to these sort of last nine games. You know, getting three players over the line, senior players, leaders. Every single one of them is a leader in this football club. Um, so, you know, getting three deals over the line and kick on last nine games of the season. It's absolutely massive now. All we can do now is sort of have trust inside them players. Hopefully, you know, they obviously keep us up. Uh, you know, keep us battling for next season. We'll see what happens. You know, leave all your comments down below on the sort of contracts for them three players. What would like to see? Get a new contract. Comment down below. Let me know, people. Subscribe as well. We're so, so close to 2.8k. It's actually crazy. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Up the butter.